Happy Sunday, church. Uh, it's good to be talking to you. And this is not our uh, worship service, uh, obviously. Uh, just a brief, uh, I, I don't know if you uh, call it uh, devotion or whatever you want to look at it as. Uh, maybe a substitute for Sunday school since we're not able to be there uh, in person. But uh, there will be a worship video. I hope that you're holding off on it until after you hear uh, these words. But it's day 37 of uh, our 40-day commitment to prayer before the election. And uh, during that interim, uh, also we have to understand and be uh, praying about the absolute certain uh, fight, war that will be taking place in Washington, D.C. in the next few weeks uh, over the uh, Supreme Court justice as uh, the president has made his nomination. I don't know anything about her other than what we are being told and the credentials uh, that uh, they say she has if indeed she uh, uh, is the type of person that she's being sold to be. Uh, sounds like a great choice, and I'm just going to go ahead and say that outright. Uh, it doesn't matter to me at this point and when it comes to the Supreme Court uh, if I do uh, step on toes because, uh, to be honest with you, my number one priority in the support of the administration as it has been is simply because of the absolute necessity of turning the Supreme Court to a conservative majority. Uh, folks, it's time to get rid of Roe versus Wade. No, I don't expect it to go away overnight. I don't expect it to uh, be completely and totally rescinded, probably in my lifetime, but they can start chipping away at it. And uh, Lord, I am praying so hard. I do believe that uh, it's God's day. Look, folks, God is the master of life and death. And uh, he's, he knew that he was going to take Ruth Bader Ginsburg to her uh, eternal destiny at the time that he did. And uh, folks, I, I'm not uh, upset over that. I, I do honor her legacy. She was a great woman uh, in a lot of respects, but she upheld a lot of evil while she sat on that bench. And uh, I think it's time God is saying that we've got the opportunity, if we'll stand together, to start reversing some of that evil that uh, she so blatantly uh, stood for in her lifetime. But uh, we want to move on from that. We are praying for 40 straight days leading up to uh, the election. And today is number 37. And uh, looking in Daniel 9 uh, verse 20, uh, church, we've looked in Daniel a couple of weeks as we're trudging through the uh, book of Revelation and trying to unfold the mysteries of the end time and the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the tribulation and, and things of that nature. But uh, it's also good that uh, we just simply look at a very simple principle that's found in Daniel 9.20. He says, and while I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God is while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision in the beginning, became being caused to fly swiftly and he touched me about the time of the evening oblation. Did you notice what Daniel said? He said, I was praying, confessing my sin. Uh, that famous Chronicles passage we started out with uh, that we use so many times uh, in churches around uh, spring and fall revival time, churches that have those. Uh, if my people, which are called by my name, will worship or humble themselves and pray and seek my faith, Listen, folks, it's on our shoulders. Uh, 30, 50, 70 years ago, the church quit being the church, and this mess lies on our shoulders. And uh, with the help of the Lord Jesus Christ, God himself is the only person that can fix this, and the only way he's going to fix it is by using us as his children. It's time for us to stand up. It's time for us to speak up. It's time for us to be accounted for. 
and uh, he says, he starts out here saying that he's confessing his sin, but more importantly, and what we need to be doing for the next 40 days, he says, and the sin of my people Israel. Listen, folks, Mount Zion, we need to pray the prayer of repentance for the United States of America. We need to be the leaders in the prayer for repentance for this entire nation. Uh, you say, well, is it uh, okay to uh, pray and confess the, the sins of other people? Well, apparently it was because Daniel was doing it. And not only was Daniel doing it, when he repented and confessed of his sins and when he confessed out loud the sins of the nation, that's when he was visited by God. You want a visitation from God? You want to see the power of God? We as his people, in confession of our own sin and confession of the sins of this nation, can turn it around. We can have a visitation from God. That's all I wanted to say to you this morning, just to get you started, to keep you focused on our 40 days of prayer. Uh, Move right on along then and uh, enjoy the worship service in the next video that we've got for you. God bless. Have a great day.